Hey everyone, Chadwick here uh, for your next DAP and Code updates. Uh, thanks for being patient. The team has been working really hard on a lot of, uh, a lot of things for performance improvements and stability, um, but want to get caught up with some updates. Let's get into it. Um, I believe the last DAP and Code updates, we reviewed a sandbox environment showing the transfer of uh, ERC721. Um, I just want to review that and where that is. So um, I'm looking right now at our documentation portal at docs.scale.network. Um, I'm here around the Ethereum scale bridge known as IMA. We have a lot of great documentation that talks about the transfer of ETH, which we've covered before, ERC20, ERC721, as well as 1155, which is the batch transfer or batch mint of um, uh, NFT or 721 tokens. Um, yeah, we've got some really great documentation here that describes that uh, mapping process. So again, the skill chain owner can effectively map any tokens as they wish um, onto their skill chain or open it up for automatic uh, pre-deployment or, or deployment for their skill chain. Um, but we also have the transfer docs here about how to transfer these tokens using either raw Web3.js or the newer IMAJS uh, wrapper which will, I think we've got a lot of great feedback from DAP developers who love working with this um, uh, JavaScript library. It's a very succinct library to conduct your transfers and conduct your operations. Um, and we've gotten a lot of great positive feedback about this. So all of that is here under these different tabs and these example codes. So if you do want the raw web 3 js and kind of get into it, you can select that tab or stick with the more succinct IMAJS JavaScript library. Um, scrolling on down here, we also have a description about how to instantiate this library. This is some basic install scripts. Um, how to use the two separate objects in this library. There's a mainnet object and there's a skill chain object or Web3 object itself. So you can use the two interchangeably or you can use a single object called the IMA object. So this gives a lot of, um, a lot of leeway or a lot of space for you to uh, choose how you wish to implement this in your code. Um, as well, we have a little doc here about how to set up the development environment with the SDK, along with IMAJS, the wrapper library, as a really quick development environment for you to get started in writing your dApps along with the IMA bridge. Um, and then scrolling back here, I want to remind everyone under the develop category, under tools, we have a nice thorough document here about how to set up the SDK. Um, so the SDK is something that we created as an easier development environment for people to have access to a Ethereum-like chain, which is Ganache, which is a Dockerized Ganache, uh, as well as a Dockerized skill chain, um, and then have pre-deployed IMA contracts deployed both on mainnet or your Ganache Dockerized chain, as well as your Dockerized skill chain, and then also have file storage and the Web3 server that can serve those assets which is basically the full development environment of, of everything that is uh, scale in IMA Bridge, all on a Dockerize environment. This runs on Mac, Windows, Linux. So uh, all you need is Docker to get started and you can download the uh, SDK and spin up these containers. Um, and this is a step-by-step -step process for how to do that. It's very simple and very easy to use. And once you're done, once your containers are up and running, you basically have some folder structure here that gets you access to those ABIs uh, for your mainnet ABIs and then your skill chain ABIs for the IMA bridge. And then as well, some endpoints. So you'll have your HTTP endpoint for Ethereum and your, your skill chain. So you can deploy contracts across both. Um, and if you wanna go down the rabbit hole, you can set up your SSL certificates and a domain name to have uh, full SSL compatibility with your integrations. Um, if you need to get a domain or SSL cert, you can use uh, No IP or the great project called Let's Encrypt um, to get that all set up. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to either reach out to us on Discord, but we've gotten a lot of great feedback and I hope I encourage you to check out the SDK and get started. It's a great way to just have access to everything at scale. Uh, including the bridge and um, start writing awesome dApps that use our super fast decentralized bridge. Um, so that's it for today's dApp and code updates. Again, the team's been very busy on performance stability improvements. So the next dApp and code updates will cover some very exciting prospects of things that are coming down the product pipeline. So stay tuned. Thanks for listening. Ciao.